Welcome back. A few months ago, I got a new webcam and I switched it out. And at the time, I recorded some unboxing footage of the new webcam and a couple of test videos. But I decided not to upload anything and just wait and see how the new webcam worked out before I posted anything about it. But now that it's been a few months, I have some stronger opinions. What I was using before was this webcam. This was a store brand one that I got for pretty cheap, $20 or $25, and I used it for a couple of years. It was actually pretty decent. It has a 1 quarter by 20 thread on the bottom, which is standard for tripods and other mounting things. And it had a pretty long USB cable on the back of it. And it had this built-in ring light that you could control the brightness of by touch. But I think that light would only make a difference if you were really close to it. From, from the distance that I normally record, it didn't make much difference at all. My main problem with it is that I don't think it lived up to its resolution. It didn't seem like full HD to me, and the color balance always seemed off. So I bought this JLab Epic Cam. I already had JLab earbuds, so I kind of trusted the brand and I decided, you know, why not try their camera as well? And that's what I've been using for the last few months. Here's some unboxing footage of it. The tape measure there is just for scale so you can see how big it is. It came with a handy dandy quick start guide to show you how to set it up. And in the box was an extra face plate, which I really didn't care about. Uh, both face plates attach magnetically. One's a darker gray and one's a lighter gray. I guess that's just for aesthetics. They just snap on and snap off. There is a one quarter 20 thread on the bottom and a highly configurable little mounting platform here that, you know, it adjusts in quite a few different areas, which I didn't need that much because I have it set on a mini ball head here on my mount. It had a long braided USB cable. I want to say about six feet long. And here's a close up of the thread and a close up of the mounting platform, close up of the front of the camera. It looks pretty nice. And before I installed it, I recorded a little test video with my old webcam. Here it is. Okay, this is my old on webcam. I'm not zoomed into it or anything, and I only have the one light on. I'm recording this video for comparison purposes. Now, if I turn on this ring light, and then I'm going to turn on the bigger light. And one thing I never liked about this one is that it there's some blur when I move my hands. It's difficult to focus, and the autofocus never worked really well. Right now, it's on manual focus. And to me, the colors look a little off. Like, this shirt is a dark blue, and I think you can tell that it's dark blue, but it almost looks black. I think my skin looks a little yellow. And this wall looks nearly black, but it's actually just a maroon or burgundy. And then when I did install the new one, I had a few problems. For one thing, it came with a built-in mic that I didn't realize until I started recording. So it was recording from this mic and the mic in the camera. And for another thing, it took a long time to get the color balance and all that set up. But here are a few clips from that first testing video. Well, the, well, the first, first thing that I noticed is it's not set, set at 19, 20, and 1080. It's more of the 4-3 ratio rather than the 16-9 ratio. So that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna see if I can configure this. I'm going to have to play with this, of course. The saturation looks a little over, but yeah, the, the colors definitely look better here. Also, I just realized that it's recording through the JLab microphone too, isn't it? Oh, okay, well, I'm going to have to check that. There was probably a bunch of echoes. Okay, I put the white balance back on auto. That is fine. What's backlight comp? And in the camera control, is there a zoom here? Oh, there is. I can zoom in that much, and it still looks fairly clear, but yeah, there's. I'm going to have to work on the focus a little bit, and when I take off auto, it gets really dark there, so when I put it back on auto, it adjusts until it gets right about there. Let's see, is that where is that really close? Oh wow, that's really close. You can, you can read my fingerprints if I go all the way to there. Wait, there's a pan? When I zoom in, can I pan? Oh wow, it's digital pan of course, but still that's pretty cool. It's a nice feature to have, but it only works if you're zoomed in. Okay. Oh, and is the tilt the same thing? Let's zoom in a little bit and use the tilt. I will definitely have to keep playing with it and get used to it, but another thing I noticed is how smooth it looks when I move the hand. And then I made another test video going through a bunch of the settings again, trying to get everything ironed out. That part was pretty frustrating because the much cheaper webcam had come with its own little adjustment software. It had little toggles for everything from brightness to manual focus, color balance, white balance, all that stuff. This one did not come with any of that, and I basically just had to use the settings built into this recording software. But as it turned out, the auto settings turned out to work just about the best for everything except the focus. But for the things that I was concerned about with the old one, this one does work a lot better. There's a far less blur when I'm moving something in front of the camera. I feel like the resolution is the full HD. And every time I look over here at the screen to see what it's recording of me, the color balance looks a lot more realistic than the previous one did. It always looked a little too yellowish or a little too greenish. This one looks accurate. That's about the color of this wall. These are about, this is about the color of these curtains. This is about the color of this shirt and my skin and so on. Whereas with the other one, every time I looked over here, it all looked a little bit off to me. I just thought I would mention it in case you're in the market for a new webcam. This one costs a little bit more than the generic store brand 
webcams, but I've been pretty happy with it for several months. Once I got it set up, I haven't had to touch it. It's just sitting there on its mount, recording me whenever I press record. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Okay, now I have pulled up the OBS software on my display here, but it's hidden behind my camera view. So let's see if we can make some adjustments. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this camera view and move it off to a side a little bit. And then I'm going to select the camera and click properties. Okay, now under properties, uh, the resolution type is set to device default. I'm going to set it to custom and 1980. It looks like the uh, the highest it can go is 2592 by 1944. So I'm guessing that's where the 2K on the box came from. Nope, it, it has changed size on me. Well, let's fix that. Pull, okay, so this is definitely a wider angle. Will that uh, fill the frame? It should. Okay, I have noticed that it is a wider angle camera than my previous one. If I go over here to, to get this edge of the chair, it's it's showing. Uh, half of my monitor over here. All right, I have pulled up my display here. Again, it's covering me, but I'm going to again click on the properties here and try to get some correction here and configure video. Okay, now this is OBS's software for configuring video. Okay, it looks like that one is zooming in as I hold it. It's not a clicky button, it's a touchy button. Yeah, it has zoomed in when I touched the button on the top, and it looks like if I keep holding it... Okay, that's as far as it'll zoom in, but how do I zoom back out? Oh, I just tapped it one more time. I'm learning as I go. Okay, sorry. I've never done a video here where I where I do this sort of thing. Okay, this definitely can make it really bright, or... Okay, that's as dark as it goes, and that's as bright as it goes. Well, we don't want it that bright. Right in there someplace? I don't remember what it was. Let's say 71. It will focus in pretty close, and then come back to me. But what if I take it off... That looks like the like the microphone is in perfect focus, and I'm pretty close to that. The colors I, I seem a little pink, but that just that might be because I am pink and I'm used to seeing myself yellow on this on my old webcam here. Well, um, that that's not what I look like. Okay, let's come back up. There's some color. I think the microphone is a little redder than that. I'm trying to match what I'm seeing with my eyes. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many peppers did Peter Piper pick? And I'm gonna try to match that sound up when I'm editing.